Well, Lady C, thank you so much for joining the Disruptive Entrepreneur Show. I'm very grateful to have you. For everyone watching or listening, I'm also known as Lady Colin Campbell, but I'll be addressing Lady C as Lady C. I want to thank you so much. I'm very excited to do this. And uh, I'm going to start with, with um, really just sort of trying to to identify Lady C, how you identify yourself. Because if people are to research you, you are someone of many talents, multiple author, TV personality, entrepreneur. We have socialite in there. There's lots of things you do. But how do you see yourself, Lady C, in terms of your profession and career and what you do? Well, in terms of my career, I see myself partly as a writer who's serious about what she does and who, you know, I want my books to stand the test of time and they are standing the test of time because, for instance, my first Diana biographies taught in American colleges uh, because everything I said has stood the test of time. So to me, that's important. And otherwise, I'm whoring for glory. <laughs> <laughs> love, love it. Um would you, and I'm going to come back to your books because I've written 18 books and I know a lot of the people who tune into the Disruptive Entrepreneur either have or would love to write a book. So I'd love to get in the idea and the writing process. And that thing about books standing the test of time, one of my favorite books, Think and Grow Rich, nearly 100 years old. So I think we can get some gold from you there, Lady C. But would you class yourself also as an entrepreneur? Because some people, they seem to class you as that. No, I really wouldn't. I mean, if I have done anything to make money, it's really been because my back was against the wall. And I had to, for instance, you know, when I bought Castle Goring, I didn't realize it was going to be quite as expensive. I knew, I knew that it was going to be supposedly hefty, but I thought I had everything under control to get it in for maybe a quarter of the price. And I didn't. I got it in for rather more than that. So then I had to be whoring for gory. And since then, that's what I do. You know, I make no bones about it. It's, it's to make money for the castle. I mean, I wouldn't be doing any of the things that I do publicly ex except for gory. I never, ever did. I would, you know, if I had a book to promote, I would promote it. And I would go and I'd very dryly give the interview and then I'd leave and go back home and say, ha, oh, thank God that's over. But I've actually found out that you can really enjoy a lot of this stuff, which I'm sure you've discovered. A lot of it is really fun. And a lot of the people you meet are really interesting and fun. Amen to that. Now, I would argue, I'm going to challenge you here, Lady C, um, that your version of whoring is a disruptive entrepreneurship. Your back's against the wall. You need to hustle and make some money. You go out, make some money. You do what it takes to yeah. pay the bills. Is that not an entrepreneur? Well, I suppose it is. I suppose it is. But I don't think of myself in that way. But I suppose it is. And thanks for, thanks for including me in your number, because I know that you are a very great entrepreneur. Well, thank you. So um, you've done lots of TV shows, Lady C. Did you ever strategically plan to build what is a very strong personal brand? You know, you're known very well. And like we said at the start, you know, Lady C has its own brand. Like many people, you know, they can't shorten their name and it have an identity. But you're almost like a rapper. Lady C, the rapper, you have your own shortened name version. Did you plan celebrity and personal brand? No, I didn't. In fact, the Lady C bit came about inadvertently because uh, one of the producers, a very nice person actually, at I'm a Celebrity, she said they wanted to call me Lady C. And I said, you absolutely can't. I said, it's just not done. She said, well, there are three Georges on the show. There's George Shelley, there's Georgie Porter, and there's you. She said, so we can't have three Georges on the show. It's going to confuse everybody. So she said, 
if you don't mind, it really will work best as Lady C. I said, oh, I think it's very crass and vulgar and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I said, it's sort of blah, blah, blah. And she said, no, 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 really, but it's going to be good. And it's turned out she was right. Because, I mean, some people who don't know who Lady Colin Campbell is, they know who Lady C is. It's quite extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should pay this person some royalties. Well, let's not go that far, darling. <laughs> <laughs> a, a simple thank you will suffice. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs>